has gotten worse. And you have gotten less sleep. In a matter of... Actually, you've been sleeping the whole day. If it's still raining. Just a dream. This is all too much. If only I could leave. No. I must finish the piece. I owe it to everyone. The melody. It's right on the top of my brain. Will my concentrate. Uh, huh. Another noise. What was that? Oh no. Not something else. The noise is coming from in there. I must find a way to get in there. Where could he have hidden the key? Maybe you should take a look at the flower pot outside? Okay, go out. Go out to the rain. Oh, look at the rain. Hmm, where did the author leave flowers in the porch? Uh, here in the porch. Oh, here's a key. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go back in then, because I don't want to waste a bit of time. The pocket watch. Yeah, I've got it. The tick... The ticks of an old watch shatters in her imagination. The fragments dissolve and gradually fade into silence. Only one sheet of paper left. My favorite poem is in here. The Panther by Rainer Maria Ricle. Rilke? His gaze against the sweeping of the bars has grown so weary he can hold no more. To him, there seems to be a thousand bars, and behind those thousand bars, no world. A dark, strong beast, trapped in a cage. The sound of a secluded piano, okay? Behind it, silence. That's a interesting description. I won't question it any further. Elements of change. It stayed- Oh, here, here, here it is! Preserve. I can be recovered by playing another transformation. Ooh, this is it! Can one prolong an emotion through a variation? Yep, maybe if I- Yes! Oh my god, we are going back to where we were. Oh my god, oh, that was, was a long ass time. That's wonderful. Uh, what's wonderful? I'm confused. Arthur writes here about a phenomenon he calls tonal diversity. Building certain relationship between the notes, the same note can suddenly sound quite different when heard again. It seems as if Arthur is talking to her directly. His writing is so clear, so similar to the way he speaks. She imagines him lecturing to his students. He pauses, not once, but many times. He turns to her and smiles. Wilma focuses on... His intentions, unhurried uh, actions, the pleasurable surprise every time it happens, his lovely smile. Uh, I don't know. How do I? Wait, what? I'm confused. Who? What do we pick? Uh, lovely smile. No, nope. his intentions. Every time he pauses, it's deliberate. The moment is ch uh, charged with emotion. And then he turns to her. There! She sees the pattern. She starts to write. Yes, we are talking in third person. I can barely keep my eyes open. Maybe I should sleep. But I don't have enough time. Go to sleep. It's better to go to sleep. I'll get up early tomorrow. Give me more time. Good night, my dear Wilma. Oh look, it's another nightmare with an alarm clock. Every child's nightmare. Huh? I... Call... Hello? Leos? No, I'm not Leos. Oh, I'm talking as her! Who are you? Are you... Someone's wife? Are you the mother? I don't know who you are. Why did you call me? Funny that you ask me that. You really don't know, do you? Funny, you ask me... Wh what do you mean? Have you ever thought about what you... Why do you always try to make other people... Uh, why do you always try to make other people happy? Why do <laughs> always... No, you? Okay, let's, uh, let's just do this. Have you ever thought about what ha you want? 
I want to be successful. That's what I keep hearing from her. She wants to be successful, but she also wants to be with Arthur. But then I'm like, nope, denials. Denials for the days. Ah, that's more like it. Oh god, it's Inception. What is this, phone Inception? At last, we're talking about what you want. I believe you can be successful, but what are you going to do to achieve that success? I don't know, but I will do whatever it takes. Good. Well, you had better get back to it. work then. Vienna deserves to hear your music. That is one motivation that I don't understand. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? No more whispers, please. The store. It's here. Oh no, no, no. I cannot think clearly. I cannot let my fears control me. Maybe I can block them up? I have to try. Maybe I won't be able to hear the music anymore? Just block them up. Stop it! The voices become louder. Stop it! One by one, the voices fall silent. Stop it! I can do this! As the voices fade, she has a sudden realization. Her heart beats steadily. She feels the air filling her lungs, the oxygen in her blood, and warmth in her fingertips. My fingertips are cold, though. An inconsistent... Uh, incons... Wait. Inconstant? Oh, inconstant, sorry. Ephemeral rhythm. Ephemeral rhythm. I am an 11 year old girl. Uh, yes? Yes, that's good! Uh, oh, worn letters. Arthur must have had a reason to look this way. My beloved Arthur, I can hardly wait to see you again. The memory of your last visit still hangs in the air, like a note that, after the orchestra has already finished, lingers on. It fills me with dreams, feelings, and longings for you. Sometimes I want to get away from Vienna. I want to travel with you across Europe and farther. With every year, one senses what was fine in this city. What was worthwhile and grand, now ebbing away. Ebbing? Ebbing? The voices all sound the same those days. Just echoes from better times, long past. Vienna is losing itself, but the city, its people, they don't care. They see to it that things keep on as they are, instead of doing something about it. I don't want to stand by and watch. I hear Berlin is the future, full of beauty and hope. Let's go there sometime. What do you think? Please tell me soon. Yours, Greta. Another one? Arthur? Ooh. In this letter, someone describes my last performance. In Wilma's mind, the words form an image. People hold their hand, breath, their eyes sparkling with excitement. They move away and then move closer. She hears their footsteps and the clinkling gla clinking glasses in their hands. See? Senses their glances. Everything comes together. A harmony engulf engulfing the memory. I don't add the melody. Sorry. I don't know if it's actually, actually now that I think about it, I kind of forgot immediately that this is very loud and I'm very close to the mic, so you might actually hear uh, spikes in the audio. So uh, forgive me for, about that. I just discovered that, I just realized that right now. But back to the, back to the story and giving it strength. How can I? Yes, like this. Oh boy, how? All I see is scribbles. What? How? All I see is scribbles. I love the sound of rain on windows. The soft tapping of raindrops against the glass. I can't reanimate that. It has a magical kind of sym symmetry to it. Oh, symmetry within. A tender melody flows very near. That's good. Oh. That was the last sheet of music paper, and there's still something... The finale! There has to be space for a few notes. No. Where will I get something to write on? I, uh... I don't know? Hmm, the backup is clean. I need the paper. I'm sorry, Arthur. Just looking at her music lifts her mood. It is working so far. Melodies flow through her mind while the rain falls on the cabinet. Okay, now, a dedication. For my friend Leos, 
Since he's been the one. May he listen to this song. His song, someday. A good friend in difficult times, actually. Okay, my back hurts. Uh, so this is... The Lion's Song. And then we hear it, probably. I'm not very sure anymore. I kind of forgot. <laughs> uh, oh, we do hear it. Vienna, Great Hall of Mishkaverini. I'm butchering the names. The auditorium is packed. Uh, wait, what? Did I just mispronounce that again? The compass. Compositions. Okay, yeah, I'm. Mis I'm not speaking English anymore. Goodbye, English. You're not welcome anymore. Goodbye. Shoo. Okay, I'm back. Uh, by Schoenberg, Mahler, and the others have already been claimed. The mood is tense, expectant, as if the whole city of Vienna is here. And now is not the time to be nervous. The lion's song. The sound and melodies free themselves from the instruments. Expand with wide, distant perspectives. Okay. Uh, what else? From pictures of familiar faces and places. Oh, that rhymes. Then burning with a desire to break free. Break free. Persisting, yet changing from moment to moment. Now peaceful like a warm voice from far away. Oh, I guess that's a description about something. Comforting. Oh, comforting. Okay. I'm gonna shut up now. Oh look, it's uh, our. The path to the cabin. I'm just pointing things out. The cabin itself. And there's no rain this time. It's good. No rains. The. Oh, wait. The telephone booth. Well, not the telephone booth, but like, you know, her workstation and the other thing. And Leo's table. That, I guess that's a dinner table. Fading to the sense of. Okay, that was too fast. <laughs> Clap. Ah, beautiful! Clap! What a, such a lovely melody! Ah! This is a bunch of clapping! As the current fall, curtain falls, Vilma leaves the stage and disappears behind countless musicians. Never to be seen again! Bye bye! Bye bye! Get out of my face! And it's done! In the next episode of The Lion's Song! Ooh, pixels. That's what we see in the next in the next one. Visit the Vanessa art scene. Oh wait, so next is the art industry, or at least the art part. As a young artist with the gift, I see people differently. I see people differently. The Lion's Song, Episode Two, Anthology. I might actually have to search up what anthology means. Because I have no absolute clue what that is. I see a partner. Marketing and PR. Let's exit the episode. Let us go. Silence. Also kept well. The, the, this, the decisions also kept Wilma's name from Leo's. 6%. So I'm one of the 6%. Hi. I wouldn't so willingly give my name now, would I? Advise Leos to call Nicole as well. Oh, uh, 80 creep. Oh, a lot of people are actually doing that. Oh, cool. Also decided to go to sleep, 18%. 22% said they wanted to be successful as well. 19% also tried to block Wilma's voices. Why wouldn't you? Well, oh wait, that's it.
Oh, that was it. Oh, the, I do not have humor. <laughs> oh, so, uh, hi, I'm back. We, I'm here. I'm kidding. So, uh, I'll talk over this, um, menu screen. Sorry for that, by the way. It's gonna be a little bit longer. Uh, so if you don't wanna see this, don't, and you can get out, you can get away now. The story is done. I'm just gonna be all talk from this. So, you may be wondering, but Monica, why weren't you updating for the past year? Okay, like you, you had a good thing. You had a good thing over here. You wait. You made me wait one year for this. You made me want, wait one year. Why you do this to me then? Why you do this? Well, uh, one, I'm lazy. Two, I uh, I lost motivation quite easily. So uh, you can expect that. I, lo I lost my motivation to finish Lion's Song. Uh, what else? Yeah, it was just those two. I lost motivation and I got lazy. A bad habit of mine that I'm trying to get over and uh, try and produce more videos as much as I can. Even if it means I have to do this in months or... Well, I will try and not do it in years. Jesus, that would, that would actually be very horrible. So, I will try my best to do it at least in a week. One video in a week. It's a try, which I know I'm gonna fail harder, fail harder than my test subjects and math, but I'll try. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, click that like button, and if you want to see more of my content, which I, w I promise I will do more of, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in another video! Bye-bye! Wherever love goes, there is also misery It's no mystery And you and I, we got history Yeah Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy When we're in too deep And you and I, we got history Yeah